up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and today we have another Force of Will box opening, and this is going to be a special box opening. I'm going to hold this so you don't get all of the glare. We are doing the deck in a box video. And what that means is we're going to open up this box and see if we can make a deck with the cards inside. Having the basic ruler packs makes that a little bit easier, but this, this has some janky rulers because there's uh, that, that infamous misprint. So we'll see what we can get. And without further ado, let's just uh, get on to it. At the end, I will... So, just is, uh, it's going to be like a normal box opening video. But at the end, I'm going to re-go over all of the rares. Just so you guys can, like, maybe maybe play along, see what uh, see what we got. And then I will throw a deck together and um, we'll, we'll talk about it. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Alright, so we are done fast-forwarding. Uh, here is the infamous basic ruler pack. I'm going to go over it really quick just so you understand what it is in case you're new to the game. Because I do have a lot of viewers who are new to the game. So in these, uh, these come in every single booster box. It has uh, six of every single magic stone. So that's what we're going to be using to make the decks. And five basic rulers, which are kind of intended as uh, like draft rulers or like sealed rulers. Um, my camera is trying to focus in on her face. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, if we don't pull any good rulers, we can just use these guys. And it also comes with a promo. This gorgeous Alice World of Mad or Alice's World of Madness. I can speak, guys. I can speak. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the packs. This is what a booster pack looks like, and we're just gonna crack it right open. All right, so let's go through these pretty quickly. We have the Knight of Despair. This is a flip card. Thunder Call, Twin Dragon Claw, Ferocious Attack. We have a Amol's Twisted Beast. This is a double-faced card. And then our first rare is Mafina Thunder Cloud Wizard. Um, we're just going to stop. And I'm not going to read every single card, but she's um, she's okay. She's like a thunderstorm type mechanic, so we could already be leaning towards that. And then our uncommons are Black Star Blazer Thieves Gang Leader. I can read the whole thing. And Jewel Step. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put... All the rares up here, all of the full art um, rares and super rares here. We're going to put the full arts here and the super rares here just to space it out so you can kind of get an overview of what we have. Starting off again with another Amol's Twisted Beast, Hollow Flame Shadow, uh, Panda Performer, Kororosaurus, Relief Aid, Dark Knight of Conviction. Then our first, ooh, this is a uh, rare. This is a full art rare Lurker in the Null. I actually really like this card. I think this card is pretty good in limited. Um, could be good in other formats too, but it's a 100-100 for one, and it kills anything it damages, or any resonator damages, and if you have no cards in your hand, you can get it back from your graveyard. It's really sweet, actually. And then our regular rare is this Heaven Sundering Dragon Palm, followed by a Dragon Aura, and an Angel of Despair. This is actually uh, an Angel of Hope, and it turns into the Angel of Despair. I think it's actually a really good card. This could make the cut in a, a light deck. You got this cute little dragon, Spirit of Mount Hoel. You have Miscalculation, another really good card. Destroys an attacking resonator. I think light is looking pretty strong. Domesticated Dragon, Shayla's Adventure, Approaching the Truth. Pretty good card. Kind of like a good, like, filter draw type card. This is the Magic Transform Warrior. We have a Mad Scarlophodon. I know it's Scarlophodon, but if you watched my last video, maybe, maybe we'll get... We have the Mighty Leaf Elder is our rare. Kind of like a, a Leaf Tribal card. Probably will not make the cut. We have a Huel's Martial Arts Tournament, followed by a Karmic Retribution, which, I don't know. This is an okay card, but I don't think it would make a, a deck such as this. Honestly, I'm still hoping for a God Pack or a non-guaranteed Uber. We have Black Winged Dinosaur, Giant Rabbit, another Approaching the Truth, which is Shadow. Jewel Aura, Dr. Murby, Mermaid, I was gonna say something else, I'm a doctor, damn it, I'm a, damn it, I'm a doctor, Jim, that one, we have a full art speaking stone, this is the Scheherazade stone, um, yeah, maybe if we get Scheherazade, we could use this stone, we have another, man, well, the Mighty Leaf Elder's looking a little bit better, maybe Last Days of a Powerless Dragonoid, and Final Words. I really am hoping for something sweet, because the last two boxes that I got, you saw them. Maybe you didn't, but they weren't super great. We have a full art. Oh, God, this card's creepy as fuck. Dull audience. Followed by... Oh, nice. That was a really good pull. That is the Ultra Dragon Shooting Star. Very powerful card. Um, 
definitely could make the cut. Followed by a Black Fang T-Rex and another Angel of Despair. Mmm. It's looking pretty good so far. Got this Twin Dragon Claw. Ferocious Attack. Escaped Jeweler. Another Flippy Bunny. Hollow Flame Shadow. This a Mermaid Researcher. Alright, guys. I see how it is. So this is a Scheherazade on the J Ruler side, but it's a Shayla on this side. So that means, um, if you're unfamiliar with the misprint, the rulers and J Rulers have misprinted sides. So this card is actually a Shayla. You can mail these in if you live in the US and you can do other redemption things depending on where you live. Um, and they will ship you whatever it is on the J Ruler side. So this is a Shayla, which is super unfortunate because this is what I got in the other box. These boxes are actually super bad for rulers. Um, I'm almost flabbergasted by how bad these are. I just got... So that means I got zero new rulers in three boxes. That is all reprint rulers. Unless I got an Uber. That's actually kind of disgusting. We're going to put that here. We have uh, this good old piggy. He's a really good rare. Fire is looking very good. We have a ancient library and a martial arts competition. Competitor. Yeah, that one. So I really hope you guys out there have had better luck than me. This is... It's actually pretty disgusting. The amount of fucking reprints in the last two sets. Um, like the starter deck rulers. Oh, dude. This is a full art Angel of Despair. It looks fucking fantastic. So I will stop and appreciate the good things. Like this full art Angel of Despair slash Angel of Hope. I really want to play with these now. This, this is actually a pretty good card. It's a 200-300 for one. has flying and drain. Whenever you do Judgment, you invert this card, and whenever it deals damage, you gain, uh, whenever you gain life, this gets a 100-100 counter, and it has Drain, so you do gain life when it deals damage, and, um, when you invert it, it becomes a 400-500, still has Flying, uh, and when it inverts, you can destroy a Resonator if it has a 1-1 counter on it. That's pretty good. I like this card. Um, and then we also have this Dark Impact. It's an, it's an okay Destroy spell if you're doing, like, a Dinosaur-type deck. And then we have a dinosaur and a dark elf gravekeeper. So if the Uber in this box is Shayla, I am going to lose my shit. Um, let's see. We have a small flatter. We have a selection. These poor little piggies are going to market. A Giga Thunderfish. It's a pretty good super rare. Could do maybe a Shayla style deck. Dark Castle, Palace of Despair, and a Shayla's Battle. Got Flame Claw, Sabretooth, Shayla's Adventure, Flying Dragon of Mount Huel. I have a piece of garbage sitting on the sitting on the table. Um, what is this? The Lorite's Wind, Revival of the Clan, Evil Elemental Uprising, which is actually an okay card. It's like a good playable sideboard tech. Um, we have another Lurker in the Null. To go with our Lurker in the Null, it's another, another pretty good one. Uh, Fairika's Fer Expedition and another Evil Elemental Uprising. I think what makes something like this good in a limited format like this, or if you have very limited cards, is it trades up. Because it kills any Resonator it deals damage to. You know, this this dude. Kills any res Resonator it deals damage to, so if your opponent's playing with something sweet and big and expensive, it still will kill it. So, yeah. So all of will be forgiven if this box has an uber any of the new rules. Um, we have this uh, Gem Hammer Panda. Followed by a Sword of Fate. Um, very good card, in my opinion. Very good, like, flip card. It's just, a, just an awesome card. One of my favorites in the whole set. Evil Genie. And this little Leaf Bro, Leaf Steward. So, oh, this is a miscalculation. Really good card. So, like, Light. I'd say Light, Fire, and Dark are all looking really good so far. We have the uh, white sacred beast that is not a sacred beast, which is lame. We have burgeoning despair. This is a uh, one of the flip cards. And once again, we're getting a lot of good. Uh, we're getting a lot of good black and white cards, or light and dark cards. Disaster at Sussy Palace, followed by Piggy's Child. All right, so we got Lightning Shield, Panda Performer, Void Saurus, the Gem Hammer Panda, Thunder Call, Thunder Thunder Thunder, Combat Loving Dragonoid. We have another Thunder Thunder Thunder. I mean, that's fantastic artwork. And then we have a Magic Stone of Despair is our rare. And then a Possessed Panda and another Panda. So this is actually a flip stone. Uh, it starts off as this side, 
just produce light. And then when you uh, judgment your ruler, or when you yeah, when you judgment your ruler, you flip it over and it can do either. So it's like a not as good dual stone, but you know you gotta use what you can get. All right, we got small flatterer, jewel aura, bitty bitty ball, embrace of darkness, which has awesome art. Another card that has awesome art. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a full art Lorite Seven Luminaries Astrologian. That is a super rare. One of the best cards in the set. Um, probably worth a couple bucks. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about this one actually. Followed by a uh, Keys, the Electric Dolphin, and then a Hero Bracelet, and uh, this Puppet Bro, Puppet Maker. Another Gem Hammer Panda. Mad Scalophodon, Flying Dragon of Mount Howell. We're getting some, you know, like, we're getting some pretty good red cards. It's definitely like red, white, and black right now. Um, some combination of that. We have an Evil Genie, another Speaking Stone, though we are getting a lot of these dual stones that are not for the colors we want. We have a Thought Control and an Evil Elemental Uprising. You know, I mentioned this in the comment before, and I just keep thinking about getting just all these reprint rulers. Even though this is like the J ruler side, it's actually, like I said, it's actually a Shayla, so if I was to redeem it, I would get a Shayla back. They really should not put starter deck rulers in these, or they should guarantee you 100% that you get a new ruler. And it's so crushing. Ooh, this is a this is a variant. This is a variant enormous effigy foil. This is pretty rare, isn't it? I think this means I won't get an Uber. Because I think these are as rare as Ubers. Hmm. It's an interesting card though. Interesting card. I'm gonna put the full art variant down here. It's like even textured as well. It's kind of cool. It's like Scheherazade riding in a giant ass mech. We have Pael El Isle, the Flaming Fist. Some combination of those sounds. And we have this Gravekeeper and Dragon Aura. Got this sad old panda. This is a soaked panda. We'll just call him a wet panda. This Flying Dragon, Black Tears, which is an okay removal spell in certain circumstances. White Sacred Beast, Deadly Pox. I think this is a flip card. Actually, not, not too bad of a card. We have the Lonely Moon Were Rabbit, followed by... Oh, nice! I actually really wanted one of these. This is a full art Red Riding Hood Recovered Hope. I got um, a full playset between the two boxes I had before, but I did not get a foil one. What the fuck? Okay, we'll get these out of the way. I got two of them. So now I own six of these, and they turn over to this side. And she is absolutely gorgeous. They start on this side, so it's a 600-600. Um, and you can remove a mystery counter from your J ruler, and you get to um, invert this card. And when you do, she becomes uh, this 800-800 barrier. So yeah, darkness is looking very, very strong. We're probably going to be playing darkness plus something else. I think the funniest thing about opening these is I usually have better luck in Force of Will. And I bought in Magic the Gathering booster box, Iconic Masters. A lot of people think it's a shitty set. But it does have a couple cards that are worth a lot of money. And I bought a box for 130 bucks, And I ended up pulling a Mana Drain, which is worth about $60. And a Foil Ancestral Visions, which is also worth about $60. So I got so much luck there. And I feel like I spent it all. And now I have no like no luck at all. It's a Dark, dark Elf Gravekeeper. It's kind of kind of snazzy. We have another Magic Stone. The Null Magic Stone. Followed by another Thought Control. It's our second one. So yeah, Darkness is looking very, very good. This hollow flame shadow, uh, the puppet's last days, small well. It's just a, it's just a small well. We have the regular version of this. Hmm. So wait, what is the difference? Okay, so this one is whenever this deals damage to or whenever damage is dealt to you, this card deals damage to your opponent. Whenever is whenever a resonator deals damage to this card, destroy that resonator. Holy shit! This one's actually really good. Whenever damage is dealt to you, so if you can play this out, anything that you take is like reflected back to your opponent. That's actually a really good card. Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. We have a Twin Dragon Claw is the full art, followed by a Ferika Honorable Thief. She's not a bad card. A Lightning Dragon and a Null Illusion. So I mean, other than the Soul Crushing Resonate or Soul Crushing Ruler that I got. That's a pretty good box. I'm really happy about a lot of these, uh, a lot of these full arts. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can't complain with those. It's just, man, oh, another miscalculation. The third one. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be. I'm, I'm thinking like light dark. It's looking pretty strong. We have Spirit of Mount Howell. 
Another, well, this is the first keys is corkscrew, followed by a jewel step and a treasure night panda. Perhaps a dark fire deck? That could be good too. We have Embrace of Darkness, Refuse Collector, Selection, Look of Despair. Ooh, damn. Null Darkness. Okay, maybe we are doing a, a dark uh, fire deck. This is a very good card. This is the second full one of these I got. We have followed by a Keys' Corkscrew, this Counterspell type card, and this Dino Calling Demon. But man, the real the real winner is, is this one. Look at that card. is awesome. It's awesome. It just blows up a Resonator. And if you happen to have zero cards in your hand, you can blow up a J Ruler too. Yeah, pretty sweet. This is uh, Shahrazad's Marionette. Uh, cleaning Doll. We got the little Fire da Dragon. Soul Returning Altar. Slash the Life Stealing Altar. So Reflector. Domesticated Dragon. We uh, almost knocked over my pile of commons. The Dino Calling Demon. Followed by Lightning Cave. This is actually a pretty good card. Uh, we have Thunder Wave and an Evil Genie. Big ol', big ol' bunny, followed by a pissed off dragon, bro. And we're just gonna blaze through these pretty quickly. Um, ooh, that's a nice full art treachery. Where you can see Welser face down here. Well, this card's like okay, but the art is like, like A+. We have Ancient Impact, followed by another Lorite's Deletion Magic and a Null Illusion. So there's still a plethora of full arts that I would like to be able to pull here. Um, no, this is not one of them. The Magic Transforming Warrior. Rebellious Soul Ayu. It's pretty good, but it wouldn't... It's not really good unless you are playing with Ayu. Um, but, eh, it's okay. We have the Unanswered Mermaid Prayers and an Ancient Library. You know, I still have hope that I can get an Uber. I mean... We're obviously going to get the uh, guaranteed Uber. Ooh, this is a full art ruined story. Super rare. Our super rare full arts have been on point. Really good. So we got this one. We have Lorite and we have the Null uh, Darkness. Yeah, this is really good. We also got this Dark Impact, well, as well as the Dark Elf Gravekeeper and the Disaster at Sorcery Palace. This Dark Impact might be worth playing too. Maybe do some like dinosaur sub theme or something. We got, we got some T Rexes to slam in. Good old doll audience and another marionette. Scarlet's Vision, Crumbling Majin, Relief Aid, Secluded Elf. It's another super rare. Yeah, this is another full art super rare. This is Grim Hope from the Future. You know, that's Thunderstorm Rare. This is his uh, regular side. Yeah, it might be worth playing too. Yeah, I mean, what is he? He's just a darkness card and then he flips into this. So we can just play him as a darkness card. So, yeah, we got that. And then we also have this Thunderstorm, Dark Castle, and Evil Genie. Alright, Sea Serpent. We have just more commons. I'm going to go through these even quicker. That's the first Blazer Thieves Gang Underling we've gotten. And then we have a Full Art Miscalculation. Yeah. Oh, light's looking, looking real good, yo. We have a Bloodsucking Butler Rare, followed by Piggy's Child and a Silent Mermaid. So while we do have some good light cards, I still think a fire dark would be the most consistent. We have a lot of like powerful, good, you know, fire resonators, a lot of good uh, dark spells and resonators. Anyway, this is a leaf steward followed by a scarlet's agony rare. Good old thunder wave and another, just get the electricity going. We have a Imul's twisted beast, twin dragon claw, magic transform warrior, soul returning altar. We have another Blazer Thieves Gang Jabroni, Spirit of Mount Well. Another Blazer Thieves Gang Jabroni. That looks really good, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we have a Mephistopheles. This is a super rare flip card. Starts off on this light side, and he like flips over. I think he's actually a decent card, so it might be worth playing. This has Panda and a Ultra Dragon Flame Spear. This is a Lily's Protector and another, er, yeah, another Dark Knight of Conviction. We have, definitely have at least four of these. You know, you could probably assume we have at least four of all the commons and whatnot. If a Full Art Dr. Mermaid, remove all damage from Target Resonator or recover your ruler if it's water. Ooh, interesting. Recover your ruler if it's water. Not J-Ruler. So you can use this with, like, um, 
The the Rester Dry card one. I can't remember her name. The Dragonoid one. I don't know. Cool. We have a Lorite. Oh, nice. Very happy about getting another Lorite. We have another Thought Control. So, yeah. This deck's coming together. Alright, we got a Shahrazad's Marionette. This Jabroni. And for the last few packs, I'm just gonna really go through. Oh, we have another Shahrazad's Marionette. A Lily the Last Flower. It's only the second one I've gotten out of all the boxes. That's a pretty rare, rare. We have the Evil Elemental Uprising and a Null Illusion. I think we might have one more full art rare in these packs. Let's see what this one is. This is a, yep, this is a full art rare. Not a Lily. I was really hoping it would be a Lily. Uh, this is the Toy Speaker Eve, followed by a Burgeoning Despair. And then some other stuff. You know, I think we still have one more full art rare in the box. Hoping for maybe a lily. That would be great. We have a Witch's Shadow, followed by a Scarlet's Agony, a uh, Silent Mermaid, and uh, this silly looking dude. Hollow Flame Shadow. And we're just gonna. Oh, well, I saw the Uber. Um, it's a Kyrick, which is actually kind of disappointing, because <laughs> I already have an Uber Kyrick that I got from my Ancient Knights box. Uh, but at least it's not a Shayla. So, yeah, there we go, Uber Kyrick. Kind of hoping for Panda or even Gil. But, yeah, just take what you can get. We have another Piggy Hoel's Great Hero Pig. It's going to be really good for the deck. Final words, and the Ultra Dragon Flame Sphere. Bitty bitty ball, and now we're just going to... Go straight to the, ooh, this is a full art, we got two full art um, magic stones in this box. We got this one and uh, this one right here. Very interesting, but um, I'm probably not playing light. Well, in any case, it's still cool to have. We have a separation of the, or separation of fates, which is a pretty good card. And then a karmic retribution and uh, the tournament. All right, so we only have two more packs left, and I am just gonna go right to the full art. We have the Jewel Aura, which actually looks gorgeous, followed by, nice, <laughs> nice. I love when it does that. Nah, what? Okay, okay. So we have Jewel Aura, the Fyrika, and her expedition all in a row. I mean, that's probably not planned, but come on. All right, this is the final pack. These three boxes, for me personally, have been a little disappointing. The rulers have not been great. We have a god pack here. That is not a god pack. So let's see if we can pull an uber... No. Yeah, this could make the deck, though. The flying dragon of Mount Hoel, followed by a super rare Grim. It could be a worse final pack. Followed by QR code and uh, some uncommon. So let's... Let's kind of like do a little quick recap. All right, guys. So here we go. Quick recap of all the rares and super rares and the rulers, which are still incredibly disappointing. So we got Shayla as our like new ruler. Um, totally not Shahrazad. It would have been cool to try to build around a Shahrazad, but uh, we're not doing that, I guess. Um, also, we got a Kirik. We could do Kirik. But I'm thinking we might do a um, Butler. Kirik could be worth it. So keep that in mind. Could be Butler, could be Kirik. But uh, I'll, I'll show you what, I, what my thoughts are next. So the clear winner is Darkness. We got two Grim of the Crimson Moon. We got two Lurker in the Null. We got two of these Red Riding Hoods. Two of these Dark Impacts. And we have some pretty sweet common and uncommon dinosaurs we could use for this. We got uh, two of the Burgeoning Despair, which is actually a light dark card. We have uh, one like Resonator Butler, and we have one Lily, and that's it for dark. And um, this was easily the most of any of the rares that we got. Uh, we also got for light, or not light, <laughs> this is wind. We have two of the Lorites, which I'm pretty happy about that just for collection purposes. It's a full art textured variant of the Enormous Effigy, which is a fantastic card. We have this little puppet bro, Story Speaker Eve. We have two of the Mighty Leaf Elders and two of the Scarlet's Agonies. Not really strong for wind. 
Um, then for fire, we have some pretty strong cards, but some that we won't actually use. So the Ultra Dragon Shooting Star is fantastic, but uh, three fire is very hard to play. We have a Pyel, the Flaming Fist. She's actually really, really good. Uh, we have this card, Ancient Impact. Eh, not so good, unless you're playing maybe Scarlet. Um, we have the uh, Heaven Sundering Dragon Palm, which, you know, it, it could be could be decent, could be worth doing it. And then we have two of the Piggy, Wells Great Hero, Hero Pig. This is actually a really good card, and we don't need to play a Strength Ruler to play Piggy, because he when he comes into play, he puts two Strength on your dude. Uh, and then we have some Light. So for the Light, we have two Farikas. We have the uh, Separation of Fates and a Mephistopheles. So the Light... Rares, not super abundant. We have some decent light removal for uh, for commons and uncommons, but it might not be worth it. I think I'm, we're doing dark fire. Um, and with that said, here is our water. We have a Mathena, uh, keys, two keys is corkscrews, a lightning cave, uh, a thunderstorm, a giga thunderfish, and a um, Ayu. So it could be worth doing water, but I'm just kind of kind of cheese that I got fucking four Shaylas in three boxes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe you could do a cool cool water build. But uh, I think I'm Fire and Darkness is what I what I want to do. And speaking of which, Fire and Darkness, we have a Null Darkness here. If you did want to go into Wind, you could do the Ruined Story, but you know, unless you're playing Shaharazad, it might not be worth it, but it's still, it's still not bad. Uh, and then, if you want to dip into Light, we have the Twin Blades of Hope and Despair. This card is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. And then for the uh, dark, or for the stones, we have, oop, so we have the two uh, speaking stone, one of one, one of which was a full art, and we also got a full art magic stone of despair, slash magic stone of hope, and then of course a null magic stone. So I'm gonna throw this deck together, and uh, I'll show you what I come up with. All right, guys, so after a lot of deliberation and flipping through all the cards, I finally decided to go with Hirik Ririk as the ruler of this deck. I think this is probably one of the best versions that you can make out of this box, just in general. Um, this is a mostly fire deck with a dark splash, and before I get started here, I do want to note that I did find that I have another variant enormous effigy that came in this box, just like flipping through all the cards. That's interesting to know. I got a full art one and like a normal one. But anyway, let's go over the deck. So like I said, this is a Kyrick deck, and I'm not going to go over all of these like in super in-depth, but this is a full like, you know, 40 card deck, 10 card stone deck. I wanted to do, do wanted to do I wanted to do mono fire, but the uh, ruler pack only comes with 6 fire magic stones, so you have to do a splash if you want to make a deck with only the cards that come in the box. Um so I did a dark splash. So this is a Kyrick um, it should be of note that he has a pretty cool uh, sealed ability that has been unsealed that lets you uh, remove two strength counters, look at the top five cards, and you can reveal a battle arts from among them and put them in your hand. There's not a whole lot of really good battle arts, but there are a couple in this deck. And you can only play that ability um, during your turn and only once per turn, in addition to all of his other Kyrick stuff. Um, and then obviously on his ruler side, he has a new uh, released sealed ability, and that says uh, Blood of the Dragon God. It's a god's art, so you can only use it once per game. And it says, uh, for one fire, you can remove seven strength counters from this card. Look at the top seven cards of your deck, and you can put a dragon from among them onto the field. And then Kyrick, uh, put, put the rest in the graveyard, and then Kyrick gets plus 1,000, plus 1,000. So yeah, we are doing uh, like a battle art dragon synergy. We also have like a tiny little dinosaur synergy. So that's Kyrick. I think he's easily the best pick for this deck. Um, let's just keep going on. So obviously we use all six of the fire magic stones that come with the box. I use my null magic stone that I got, and then three darkness magic stones to round it out. So let's start talking about the ru or the the resonators first. I use my two piggy Huel's great hero pig, which is a fantastic resonator in general. Uh, then we have four of this flying dragon of Mount Huel. It's actually a really good card. He did 400, 700 for two fire. He has flying, and you can remove a strength counter from your Jerry Ruler and give him plus 500 uh, slash zero until in turn. So you can make him like a 900 attack in the air. You can only do that once per turn, but still, like 900 attack flying for two, pretty good. And similarly, we have a 700, 700 for two. That's pretty buff. Um, he enters the field. Uh, you have to remove three strength counters. 
if you give her move three strength counters from him. And if you don't, he enters rested, but who gives a shit? And also we have strength counters to spare. And also he pumps himself. So we got a full playset of him. It's actually a really good aggressive card. Like not, not a bad card at all. We have our single Pi L L, the Flaming Fist. Pretty good card for this deck. It's like a good strength counter, aggressive -y type of type of deal. And we do have the, you know, Piggy Great Hoel Piggy Hoel's Great Hero Pig for the, the search awakening bit if you want to do that. Um, we also run our only uh, Ultra Dragon Shooting Star that we got. Obviously, this card is insane. Uh, triple Fire makes it hard, but we are like a fire-based deck. Then uh, the Resonator quality goes down a little bit, but it's an 800-800 Swiftness for three. It's not too bad. It could be worse than that. I do run two of those. Similarly, I run two of this Dino Calling Demon. It's just a 700-700 for three, but when it enters the field, you can search your deck for a Dino and put it in your hand. So that's kind of cool. We do run two dinosaurs in this deck for this card and another card, kind of like a little dinosaur package. Um, and I also run two, or only two, Grim of the Crimson Moon that we got. It's a pretty good card in it, in of itself. I mean, it's 700, 700, Flying, and Barrier, Light, and Darkness for only three. And when he enters the field, you can re reveal, like, fairies. Who gives a shit? We don't have any fairies. But uh, when he attacks, you get two mystery counters. Who gives a shit? We don't care about that. Um, but when you do a judgment, you get to invert him. So when we judgment uh, Kyrick, we get to invert him. And when we invert him, things get really spicy. He becomes a 1000-1000 flying barrier light and darkness. When he inverts, target non-magic stone entity loses imperishable. And this card cannot be destroyed until end of turn. Then destroy that entity. And then it says, cards in your opponent's graveyards lose all abilities. So he just like nukes anything when he flips. He nukes J-Rulers. He nukes anything you want. So... He's actually a really sweet card. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy to run two of those. And then we have some more dragons. This is the domesticated dragon. I think there are eight dragons in this deck. It's 1,000, 1,200, 4, 3, and 2 fire. It's flying and has a null effect. And it means you have no cards in your hand and you can do this little pump ability. I run three of those. And then the only dinosaur I run is this Voidosaurus. It's basically just a 14, 1400 for six that we can um, search up with another card and we can cheat out into play with another card that we have coming up. Also, we have this Heaven Sundering Dragon Palm. This is a fantastic card with a lot of modes. Um, it's going to be really good for Kyrick. You can deal damage to Resonators. You can deal damage to your opponent. You can destroy dragons randomly. So, yeah, pretty good. That's the only one we got, but uh, I would run more if we had them. It's a, it's a rare, by the way. Then I run four Fictitious Fires. Just a good burn spell. For two, you get a quick cast, 600 damage to a player or a Resonator. Or J Resonator hits J Rulers too. And then it has a null ability. It does 800 damage instead of 600. So, really good there. Then I run two uh, Twin Dragon Claws. Um, you can remove strength counters as you play this. And it deals X100 damage up to two target resonators where X is the strength counter. So, yeah, just blow up two dudes. I'm only running two of these because it is a four drop. Kind of a lot. Um, this is another pretty decent one. Selection. For two, you get to draw two cards and then discard a card. If you discarded a beast, you put five strength counters on your ruler. Um, just a kind of good filter card. We're kind of doing like a mid rangey strat. This one, Scarlet's Vision. Pretty good. Quick cast. You can give an attacking J resonator you control plus 400. Slash zero until end of turn, and then it deals damage equal to its attack to another J Resonator your opponent controls with the highest attack. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you can like pump your guy and kill one of their guys at the same time, and it has a null ability that it deals that damage to all of their stuff instead. So pretty good. I'm only running two because it is a three drop, kind of a lot. And then obviously I'm running my only null darkness that I got, two for destroying a Resonator. Very very good. And we we somehow have null, then we can blow up a J Ruler too. Just absolutely fantastic. Uh, here is Dark Impact, lets us destroy a Resonator for 3 of any and a Darkness, and then we get to put a Dinosaur from our hand onto the field, so we can put that 14, 1400 that we searched up with the other card onto the field. We did get two of these, so that, that's pretty sweet. And then rounding it all off is the three Thought Controls that we got, just for some, you know, hand control, hand attack kind of thing. And overall, this is actually not that bad of a deck, all things considered, that we just pulled it out of a booster box. This obviously you can do way better if you had access to all the cards but just out of a booster box this isn't isn't too bad um Kyrick by himself is actually a pretty good ruler even though I was kind of bummed to get him just because I already have an uber Kyrick Kyrick is pretty sweet um yeah hope you guys liked the video I hope you uh, enjoyed 
this kind of video, this kind of format. Uh, let me know if you do, and I will continue doing this kind of stuff in the future for future videos. Um, it's kind of cool. It lets you make use of some of these commons and uncommons you normally wouldn't think too much about. So, yeah, guys. I said my spiel. I hope you all have a good one, and I hope to see you.